What's the secret sauce of Crossgreen? I'm sure it's the creative content, but there's also quite a strategy. Absolutely, it's very much an audience-led strategy. It's where our consumers are. So we are very conscious of where the consumer journey is. And so right out of the gate, when we saw that Snapchat had the opportunity for us to distribute content, we quickly created content for our viewers there. So it's very much a mindset of really following where the consumers are regardless of where they are. They may come to Vice, they may go to Snapchat, they may go to Facebook, they may go onto YouTube. It's the idea of ensuring that our content is accessible regardless of where they are. And the television uh, proposition is going well. Tell us about that. Yes, TV is a great distribution vehicle for us. It's an area where we can experiment and really push the envelope. And again, I think at the core of ICE, it's providing information for our audiences to understand the world that they live in and the impact that they can make. And if you look at the content on Viceland, a lot of it has to do with that. It's so much deeper than what you see on the surface. As you consume the content, you realize, wow, there are really many different facets to these topics, and that's what Vice uncovers. With Vice content creation, it's always always been at the core of our DNA. We've always worked very closely with partners to identify ways to create content together. The thing that I think really sticks out with Vice is we really take an approach with the content creation with partners to ensure that it's at the same kind of authenticity of the Vice voice and while still incorporating the brand's message. So ensuring that the editorial quality of the branded content is at that same caliber. So from a consumer experience, it's very seamless. And what you'll see is today we showcase Smirnoff, for instance, where we were talking about the electronic music festivals. A lot of the women are not headliners there, and we noticed that it was a very small percentage of females. So we worked in tandem with Smirnoff with this insight to create a whole program to help elevate awareness of that and build the headliner base of females in electronic music. And that's the type of approach that we take. We really try to identify what is the client looking to do, are there any insights that we can really leverage and custom create content that's impactful. Um, and that's really the specialty. So today when we talked about Vice Plus, it's something that we've always done but never really packaged it. So it's Vice Plus, whether it's media, custom production, experiential, insights and intelligence. Uh, the way we look at Vice is we really take a consultative approach towards our clients' needs and objectives. And then from there, we try to design, utilizing our full portfolio, how best to serve the client. And, and one last question around performance and ROI, and brands are asking for that more than ever. Um, how do you close the loop on that? Yeah, I and mean, we often do brand studies associated with programs that we do. And what we found is when Vice creates the creative in conjunction with our partners, the lift of the brand usage is much greater. The brand lift awareness is there. So it's about really leveraging our ability to get the message across for an advertiser in an impactful way. And we've done research to make sure that that's their attribution tied to those custom created units.